Hey guys, Charlie here. Welcome back to uh, Prison Architect. We got a lot of contraband today. We had some teachers bring in some more contraband. Uh, I've been letting it run for a bit, but I can't seem to get enough money. I just can't seem to get money. Ah, it takes so much. To take. Like the prisoners are breaking things, right? And we have to keep repairing them. And then I've actually had a cycle through to like address some needs. So if I take a look at, uh, let's just take a look at this. If I go to needs, like. It seems pretty bad, but the hygiene need is going to be solved as soon as they wake up, which, you know, they're sleeping right now, so that's why. Well, at least they're supposed to be sleeping, but they're not because, I don't know, now it's their eat time, I guess? The regime. I've been messing with the regime a bit, but, like, their hygiene, it seems like they only want to shower using these showers. And, like, I don't know why that is. So, if I look at my regime, it looks like... Maybe it's the fact that they go from sleep to eat. That's probably what it is. So if I put a period of lock up here, like I did here, like I did this here. So I think I, I think I messed up by not putting a lock up period here. Because now they just want to use these, and that's not good. So I, I'm gonna put a lock up period here. That means they're gonna get five hours of sleep a night, which is not very good. So maybe we'll make this a sleep lock up, and then we can make this a work free time actually, and then just put this as a lock up period. But that means that, whoops, that means that they're going to have five, I mean, I have, I have to redo these policies anyway. So, like, I've been playing around with things, right? Trying to see, you know, what I can do, how I can get people, you know, back on track. Because things have been kind of starting to fall apart a little bit. And where is general education? We have two interested, but I can't seem to get them to actually go to class. If I go to deployment, right, this is accessible by everyone. These people have a way to get there. These people have a way to get there. You know what it probably is? It might even be these guys that can't. But, like, I don't think it's the right classroom. So, like, if I move this here to the protective custody instead, is that going to be good enough? No, they're not interested in that. It's like I can't get the people who are interested in it to actually do it. So, I'm going to put general education here. This is where, like, nobody else is. It's between two to four. So two to four. Let's check out, check out two to four in the regime here. Two to four. Okay, so that's here. So probably what this is, is I need to put it in there for like between five and nine, right? So if I go back to edit schedule, if I put this in here between five to nine, well, there's a foundation education course there at that time. So maybe we shift this down a little bit. And then we put this here. But then we can't actually... So I need to extend this period of time to let this happen. Because I want that grant. So, regime. We're going to have to go uh, work lock up here. And then I'm going to have to shift this. So I think we're going to put eat time back here. We'll have a lock up period here. We'll extend your sleep down to here. But then we're going to have to keep you... There's a five hour block. I need a six hour block. So we'll do this. And if I do that, then I go ahead and move this down and move this down. Maybe that's enough. Maybe that'll work. No, it doesn't. They're still not interested in taking the course. I don't know where I have to put this. I've been playing around with this over and over and over again, and I can't seem to get these guys in class. Maybe I'll move it like this. Nope. So I'm going to keep playing around with that. I can't figure out how to get them interested in taking general education, but I really want to get that grant. In the meantime, we're going to get the other grant, and that is prisoner capacity up to 200 prisoners. Right now, our capacity is 180. All I have to do to get this grant is just make this uh, a dorm. But before I do that, I've, ex I've, I've expanded this. This is now enclosed. It's all inside now. And I'm ready to kind of continue these cells, right? So if I clone... Like, from here up to here. And we just kind of go like that. And like uh, this. Yeah, there we go. That creates two cells on that side. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. Just clone this. And put it here. And then up to the top, we'll put that here. That's going to expand these, right? 
we'll get uh, three six. So six, 12 more cells there that way. That'll bump us up to 192. Now I want to talk about needs because I have some staff that are, have serious complaints. 73 people are happy with their job. That's great. We still have 100% morale, which is great. And I think my schedule... Ooh. Hang on. Okay, that's better. <laughs> uh, I've been mess messing around with the regime. I have to make sure we have everybody where they're supposed to be now. 6 to 7 is eat time. Yep, that's good. Then we have 9 to 10, which is something like this, which I don't think is necessary. Because from 9 to 10, nobody's eating. So we can actually get them out of here if they want to. Let's kind of spread them out a little bit, maybe. During this period of time. Uh, we want to put maybe a couple there. Uh, we don't have anybody stationed in here, like dedicated. So we probably should put at least two people in here. Yeah, we'll do that. And then... Uh, probably like out here, make sure there's at least one in the infirmary so nobody gets attacked in there. A common room in here. Chapel, put a couple in the common room here, one in the shop. So I just want to spread people around, right? And just make sure that people are kind of doing their business. It's a lot of micromanagement, but like once you get it to where it's set up and everything just works and the people are scheduled appropriately in the regimes, once you get that done, it's kind of a set it and forget it thing. And that's where I'm working, but I can't get to there. I can't get to the set it and forget it phase until I get all the medium security out. So right now, medium security, we only got 31 left. I'm getting close to the point where I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about actually making another wall here, closing this off as another block, make this maximum sec, and then we only have this row as medium along with the dorm here. We can just do medium here and here, and that would be it. And that would be great. Uh-oh. Oh, that's right. We have intake. I took in five prisoners. We have a gang member who's deadly. Who is it? Deadly gang member. Yeah, uh, it's a member of the blue gang. Seven, nine, and seven. We have an unknown reputation here. Probably should grab you. Let's grab Arya. Let's see if we can't figure out. There's actually a couple, quite a few nasty people. We got a couple of question marks in here too. I probably should know a little bit about. And then of course we have. Uh, Stella, who's just hanging out in her own cell down here. She says he has a big sleep need. Well, I mean, you could go to sleep if you want. I, I feel like if I give him free time, he, instead of lockup, I don't know. Like, is that is that better? I, what if I do this instead? You know? She's locked in here, right? She can't go anywhere. Yeah, she can't leave this confined area. So free time should help her, right? She should feel better at free time. She can do whatever she wants at free time, right? So what's she going to do during her free time? Like, what's her what's her choice? Okay, she wants to go in here and talk on the phone. You know what we should probably do is make sure she's not calling anybody uh, to come get her something. Which, you can't really get her anything anyway. Because the prisoner, uh, the visitation in this area is like... It's cut off, right? Um, I'm not sure how this works. Prisoners go on this side, so visitors on this side. So I think I should be able to go like this and like this. And that should mean that Stella can't get in on this side. So she should have to go this way. That's how it should be anyway. I don't know. I'm playing around with that. I've got some plans for expansion up this way, right? They're planned out, and it looks to me like I'm going to have to move a few things. Uh, namely... We're going to have to move the water boilers because they're right on the walls. I'm not entirely sure what to do with the water boilers. They're in a good spot right now, but it is what it is. Uh, I've also been expanding this uh, perimeter wall. So it's out to here now, which is pretty good all the way to the edge here. So if these guys want to dig through, they're probably going to start digging tunnels in this direction, then trying to go down around the wall. But if they're going to go this way like that, then they're probably just going to continue this way. So let me make sure the dogs are doing their job. Probably want another dog route, like out this way, but that's gonna require having like another kennel. So I think temporarily, what I should have is like another dog kennel, because this one's getting kind of crowded. I mean, it's nice, it's got 12, uh, 12 crates, but I mean, 12 crates is enough. We have 20 dogs. 12 crates should be enough for 20 dogs, uh, because you're gonna have dogs that are around the 
you're going to have them all around the place, right? Dog patrols, right? All these green dots are people who are on patrol right now. We don't need two dogs here. Just one there is fine. But the thing is, like... Uh oh, hang on. Are we supposed to... Oh, dear. Hang on, let's get rid of this. I want this to be... Like that. Like, I want it to be all the time. Right? I want them to have to be there all the time. This is a schedule one only. This is a schedule one only. Let's put that like this. No, no. Okay, go like that. Uh, this is good. This is good. So I don't have enough dogs to get on all these routes because a lot of them are tired. And that's just the thing with staff needs. You need so many, so many more staff than you'd normally need. Look at this. Seven staff have serious complaints now. I guess it's being knocked down. 80 people are happy with their job, but there's still like a queue. Right? We're building up a queue. And that's my, that's the problem I keep running into. I'm going to hire like five more guards, which is expensive as hell. I'm down to $717 now. Um, but like, you gotta, I got to manage it because our needs are starting to get out of control. Like, this is fine now, but it wasn't fine. And I've been working on like trying to add certain things to the prison. Like the warmth thing was a big deal. All these extra things I added, I forgot about the radiators. And so like these cells were all super cold. And it was like negative six outside. So that was even making it even worse. So big problems there. Trying to work through them. Got some pipes to lay down here. All the way up like that. And then we have this other problem where the water's not reaching. So I'm gonna have to like get a solution to that too. Which is gonna require probably another water boiler. Uh, and this pipe to be longer. Like I'm gonna have to extend this pipe out like this. Which, like, I don't know how far I want to extend it because I don't know how far I'm going to expand the cells this way. I think probably one more row, and then we'll have other facilities on this side. So we're probably going to go, like, I can plan this out, actually. There's the autosave. Thank you. Thank you for not crashing. Appreciate it. Um, one, two, three, wall, right? So then we'll go one, two, three, four, space. So from here, we'll have, you know, like, other facilities on this side right but like the money problem is a huge deal like i can't expand yet so what i'm gonna do is something um a little bit crazy it's not that crazy actually uh first thing i'm gonna do is not crazy first thing i'm gonna do with the 465 dollars i have left i can't i can't do anything with it can i get you know what let me sell some of these things they're not exporting them very quickly go go export run them out there go 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 uh, you know what? Let's just go in the hole for a second. $87. What I want to do is I'm going to go rooms, forestry, and I'm turning this whole thing here into a forestry. It's going to take forever for a workman to work it. And we're going to have to do a whole lot of work with getting more trees. But uh, that's going to draw some money in for me, you know? And we're going to spend a ton of money on trees right now. Like, that's going to be... Like, we're probably going to end up spending... Like, here, look at all this. Look at this. It's all queued in. Look at this. Trees, $3,000. $4,000 we spent on trees just now. $4,000. It's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. But, like, one shipment of beds should offset that cost. We're just not getting them to make beds yet because it's not their work time yet. So, like, later on in the day, we end up making a lot of money. And then, like, throughout the day, we end up making very little. Because I didn't have it staggered, right? I used to have the regime staggered. And that's what I like to do. But now I have this whole one period thing at the very end of the day. And so this is when we start exporting a lot of stuff. So it's uh, it's it's different. You know, it's different. Is this only five hours? I feel like they need more sleep than that. I'm going to adjust this slightly. Uh, I'm going to adjust this slightly. We're going to go eat. Uh... Like, I need the lockup period. You know what? They're just going to get a little bit less sleep for now. Because I need it to be offset with medium. Once I get the medium security people out of here, it's super easy for the regime. Like, I'll just do the same regime I had in prison town and it'll be fine. Because the regime I had in prison town worked really well. Um, but I, I can't do that right now because we're sharing this path. We're sharing facilities. And I can't give them their own facilities because, like, there's no point to doing that. Um, so, anyway, I decided not to make this a big room. And instead to make this... Sort of like, uh, it, it's going to be like an intersection or an interchange kind of area, right? So, uh, I actually went too far with the cells. 
So, yeah, I went too far with the cells. Let me demolish this wall. Not that one. Uh, here, this wall and this wall need to go along with that wall. And then these walls need to go. And that should be good. And then we can go ahead and get dismantle objects on all of this stuff. Yep, all of this stuff needs to be dismantled. Because these cells are not going to be here. Uh, these ones are fine, but I went one row too far. This is going to be a common room area, but it's also going to serve as a junction between these two blocks. And it's going to serve as a way of getting out into this public area here. So it's like all in one thing. And there's two cameras here. One is facing that way to look at these cells. One is facing this way to look at these cells. I probably could put them in just a little bit further, but I'm not going to bother with it. Because we have other cameras and stuff stationed, so I think it'll probably be fine. This area is going to end up being basically, I want a wall there, a wall there. Uh, this wall will come in about like that. We'll have a double door here, which will lead people outside. Uh, and then we'll have, like, you know, the pool tables and, like, all sorts of, like, fun things right here at this little junction point. Just kind of a good idea, I think. And then we can have a shop sticking out the back. And they can buy things from the shop if they want to. So the shop should, the shop would stick out, like, uh, probably, like, I figure out where the walkway is. The walkway for this is going to end up being like this. It's going to end up being out this way and then up. So there'll be a cell one two three wall so the wall will be here so the walkway will end up being here so knowing the walkway is here there we go yep that's pretty much exactly where this wall needs to end so the shop will be like this this gives me four wide i think the shop shelves are three wide i think so yeah so we'll have a shop here they can work in the shop, buy, sell, whatever, all along this area. And then they can get access to the yard from here, too. And this is like a big, it's like a big general area. It's not really a yard, but I mean, I might turn it into a yard. I might have several yards, right? Maybe we'll make this grassy area be a yard and this area can be a yard. And like, I don't know, prisoners will just choose which yard they want to go into. We'll leave, a, we'll leave a gap with the path. So this is not a yard. This area here will not be a yard. This won't be a yard. So we'll actually separate the two of them. Which, I don't know, might be kind of interesting. You know, if you think about it, like, these guys are going to have gang. Gangs are going to compete for territory, right? So what if we have, like, blue gang owns this side of the yard, but, like, red gang owns this side of the yard? <laughs> you know? And then green owns the common room. It, 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 they can create their own territories in this area. So I, I'm interested to kind of see how this develops as time goes on. I'm not sure where, which direction I'm going to go with it yet. But I do know that I want money. So I'm going to take it upon myself here, I think, to sell these license plates. Because they are slow. They're not doing it. I'm not going to sell the blocks of wood, though, because they're way too valuable. They convert into way more later. So anyway, these trees have, are getting planted. Yep. Gardeners are... Psh, gardeners are, like, pissed off because they're really cold outside. Because it's always cold outside. It's freezing right now. But inside, it's fine. I got the temperatures to be inside just fine. Even the storage area, I got this fine, too. Uh, I don't have the kitchen. Now that I say things, <laughs> I see that the kitchen is actually really cold. So we can change that. We'll go like that. Uh, the infirmary has a radiator there, but this doesn't have a radiator, so we'll put one there. Let's uh, get a pipe running that way. And then the kitchen needs a pipe. We'll run that up like this way that it's there and there yeah that's fine oh man i can't wait until we get normal out of here like normal sec needs to just get out there's 30 capacity oh you know how i can get money let's just do this we can get money like this let's turn this into a dorm it'll bump this over 200 and we'll get the payment and then we'll turn this back into a holding cell and make sure that it's marked as medium sec only. I'm not sure why it's separating. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so we got that grant, which means we got a bunch of money now. 20000 bucks. I think we expand this. So, I want... I only got this visually in my head, so I'm not sure exactly how this will go. But I want a pool table uh, 
me see, let me see. It goes like this here and here. Two pool tables here. Then there's a big screen TV, which is gonna be uh, over here, I think. Uh, where was it gonna be? I think it was gonna be here. Yeah, right here. Then we'll put chairs. And these chairs, there'll be four rows of them. Right, and they can all sit here and watch this big screen TV, which is kind of nice. Uh, I want to have some benches because, like, prisoners love sitting on benches. I'm not sure if that's just a, a preference thing that the game puts in, but they love sitting on benches. We're going to have a radio in here, too. We'll put one over there, I guess. Um, and then I want some phone booths. Just along this wall, we'll put a couple of phones. No big deal. Because they're going to have phones in the yard and things like that, too. So, like, we'll put a couple of phones there. Uh, then, uh, where was it? Oh, right here. Arcade cabinets. I want... My mouse is doing really funny things right now. I'm not sure what's going on with my mouse. Why is my mouse acting up? think hang on guys i'll be right back okay we're back uh mouse is working again uh it's batteries it's always batteries isn't it uh in the middle here i want to put in an arcade i want to have like a nice arcade hub here uh i'm thinking because there's benches and stuff like here maybe not right on top of it but like maybe like we could go the door is going to be here i don't want to obstruct the door so I'm thinking like we go, do I want to go this way? I think so. Let's go like, if only I had one more square. If I had one more square to work with. You know, I can, I can have one more square. All I have to do is move the, down, the, move the door down one more square. So let's just do that. Move the door down one more square. So we'll do it about here. Here will be the door instead. Uh, and then, if that's the door, we'll do the pathway here so I can mark it for myself here so I know the, know my spacing. If that's the door, the arcade cabinets can be like this. Flip it around. We'll put another row like this. So there's going to be like this big arcade, right? And they can come in here and they can they can play in the they can play pool. They can get you know, their television going on they can watch whatever's on tv they've got these arcade cabinets and there's like 12 of those and then there's this wide open area which is just the pathway so let's get the metal flooring put in through here uh this is fine yeah through like this and then down like this to connect the dot marble tiles like this and then, I mean, this room could have a different floor. Maybe we have it a really be, maybe we have it be like a nicer floor, you know? Like maybe like a green linoleum. I don't know. We don't have green linoleum anywhere, do we? Well, we have it over here, but this is carpet, and that's a nursery. So I think maybe green linoleum. That count. That sounds kind of interesting. Let's see what that looks like when we install it. Uh, yeah, and then we're gonna have a pathway to a shop right here anyway. So seven thousand nine eleven. Let's um, let's maybe expand this out a little bit. Uh, let's do it this way, over top of the wall too. Or we can keep the wall. I think if you start at the, I wanna. I'm, this is gonna be an experiment. I think if you start on on the wall and drag, it eliminates the wall. But if you start off the wall and drag onto the wall, it keeps the wall. I, I think. I'm, I'm testing this out. I'm not sure. But we're going to see. Oh, I like this. Oh, I'm liking this. It kind of looks a little bit... Uh, it's very playful. Like, right? It's very... Um, like, you get wild colors and stuff in arcades. And this is kind of like those wild colors right here. Which is kind of nifty. Why are these cameras constantly blinking at me? Are they not monitoring them? They're right here monitoring them. Aren't you connected? You are connected. Oh, there's too many connections. Oh, I've got too many connections on this monitor. 
Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I do have one too many connections. What about you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, three, six, seven. So you have an extra connection. So what about like just taking this camera and we can uh, take this camera here, clear the connections on it. I didn't just do that to the whole thing. No, it's just the one camera. Yeah. So if I take you, um, come on now, come on now and connect you here. Does that Ah, oh, it's too many connections for you too. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe you're the one that has the. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold on a second. I gotta figure this out because I thought for sure that the cameras I had would leave max capacity of what I already have for monitors. Yeah, there we go. So I just messed I just messed up which ones were connected to what then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this one was supposed to connect to all those cameras, but uh, I put one too many cameras in. Fair enough. Okay, so they're all connected now, though. I shouldn't have any of those things happen anymore. Fine, got it. Rooms, common room, go. And that'll get rid of, like, all those little blips, too. So now we're left with this arrangement, which is super nice, I think. Brick wall right here. And that's put in the door. Make sure the door is good. So right, uh, we'll have it open this way, I guess. So there, and then we'll have the door servo there. And then we'll have the pressure pads go on this side. Uh, so they can go from here into here because this is the way into their cell block, not out. We want them to be able to go in, but not out. So this is what we want. So they can come in here at will from out here, but they can't go out here without a guard's approval, which is how I have it set up here. Yep, and then um, they can technically do it here too. So maybe I should put pressure pads. You know what, I should. Right here. No, I shouldn't, Never mind, because this is, this is segregated. So never mind. These, I guess this will just be an outlier. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a policy for this, I guess. Not as airtight of a policy as I thought I had. This is a problem. These pipes need to be ex extended out. I think this pipe is going to have to go, I guess, out about like here. And then up. Like just maybe to here. And then we can go over like this. And hopefully that connects these, I'm hoping. Now that does mean they can dig, like say this cell here, they could dig here and then get out to here pretty quickly. But again, they have another fence to have to work through. And I think just to make sure that this isn't like the super easiest thing in the world, temporarily I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another fence in. And we'll start that fence. I don't wanna disrupt this. We'll start the fence here. And we'll put that right like this. Just to kind of give a bit more security on this side. Right? And then we'll also have a staff door. Uh, we'll put that like here. So if they can get into this area, they can get into this area. So we'll put it like way up here. And then maybe another one will go... Well, we shouldn't need that actually. Because if they can get into the forestry, which they can... They can get into this, so that means they can get into this. So it should be fine. Uh, no, it doesn't because they, they won't be able to get out here. Which I guess, do they do they really need out here? I really don't think the staff needs to be going out there. So I, never mind, I'm gonna be fine. Okay, so this just got, just man. Okay, so I started here, it went into the wall and it crumbled the wall. Okay, I'm gonna test it next time by starting on the wall and see if that makes a difference because I've had this keep the wall intact before and I'd like to know how I did that. I would very much like to know how I did that. Okay, shop front. Once that wall gets put back in, let's make that a priority. Once that wall gets put back in, uh, where should the door to the shop be? 
they'll come into the shop to work from this hall, from this from this side. But for now, I need them to go in from another side, right? So maybe temporarily we should put in like a door here just to kind of give them a way to get in temporarily. Yep, and then we'll put the shop front. We gotta flip it to where the calculator is on the inside of the shop. So calculator is on that side, that's where the shop is. And we'll put this right, uh, let's go right here. Yeah, right here. Now, for this, I'm gonna want electricity, of course. Which power can, can handle it? You're pretty much maxed out. You're pretty much maxed out where I want you to be, but this just, it's just like a couple of lights. So I'll extend you down here and see if that's good enough. See if either one of you, it's like if I put this in, will that reach to this light? You know, that's pretty much all I need it to do. Then shop shelves, uh, we're gonna have a table you always have to have a table in your shop. I'm going to put it here, I guess, along this wall. There we go. Then, shop shelf will be there, 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 uh, there, and there. So lots of items in this store, right? whole lot of supply in this store. That's what I'm hoping to see. So let's get working on that. Guys got a lot to do. Workmen have a lot to do. Uh, this will be max sec only. This is all in good. We have 29 normal security prisoners left. Oh, hello, doctor. Reports of sickness. No. No, sickness. I don't like this. I hate this one. I hate this one so much. Um, let's get... Um, I, I, I can't pause it. <laughs> I can't pause it. That's the rule. This is the first time we've ever had this random event in this playthrough. Uh, shit. <laughs> I gotta find him without pausing. That's gonna be tough. Like, really tough. Oh, here we go. You're sick. Uh, let's put you in lockdown right now. Hold on. Let's put you in solitary. No, stop, stop. Solitary. Go. Do this fast. Yes, good. Okay, you're stopped. Uh, I need a doctor to go and get you once you're in solitary. Now, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? That was actually quite obvious. Did they did they change the way they look so that it's easier to see them? I hope they did because it's really difficult to tell who's sick. Oh man, like Can you get can I get that person treated? Go, doc, go. Maybe the doctor will get there before the guard does. Who else is sick? This is going to take forever. <laughs> forever. Without without pausing. Like, if I could pause, then it's like, cool. I can just look around until I find them and get them done. But now it's like they can move around before I have a chance to do anything about it, you know? Not this person? No. That person's fine. How about up here? Mm, nope, these guys are fine. Ah, this person here is sick. Let's get her in lockdown. So she'll stay in her cell. Doc, come over here. Did you treat that one prisoner? No, you didn't get treatment. Shit. Oh, I really hope nothing runs into her. Like, I hope nobody... Oh, it's eat time. Oh, no, it's eat time. Uh, emergency. Paramedics, come in here. I'm going to put I'm gonna put paramedics right into this area here. Come on down in here, paramedics. We're going to get everybody treated because it's eat time now. And whoever's sick is going to infect the rest of them right now. This is going to be horrible. Get right here. You get right here. Get on the doorway. And get everybody who's sick and treat them. Uh, this doctor... Where did he go? He's not obeying. The doctor is not obeying. All right, one of you guys, one of you paramedics can come over here and get this person because this person needs treatment. Uh, the guy that's in solitary, she's right here. So we can get another one of the paramedics to come up there. You, come on up here and treat that person. 
Everyone else who's a paramedic is going to be right in here to treat whoever's sick. I think I see her. Yep, that's the one that's treated. But can she still infect people if she's treated? Let's put her in solitary. No, she's going to she's gonna infect everybody. Yeah. She's still... Everybody's freaking infected now. Every single person is infected now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I hate this event so much. But we can manage it, right? We can put these paramedics on the door. And we know that everybody's going to be in one spot. This paramedic, go down here. We know that everybody's going to be in one spot. So, like, it's not a hard thing to treat everybody. But everybody gets sick, you know? It's like you can't avoid the pandemic. But you can give them mass treatment right away, which is what we're doing. So this guy needs to come back over with the rest of the paramedics. Uh, then this person here, let's end her punishment so she can go get something to eat. Okay. Uh, you. You're treated already, so we'll end your punishment too. We'll let you out so you can go get something to eat. You don't need to go to your... Oh, yeah, you do because it's... Yeah, your, your normal security. Look at this. Look at this madness. But everybody's treated, right? Because that's what the paramedics are for. That's why I brought him in, because it's this this random event is ridiculous without help. <laughs> You're gonna have to hire like ten thousand dollars worth of doctors and then fire them once the random event is done. No, you just bring in the paramedics, it's fine. It's like two hundred dollars or something like that. I forget how much this is. It's a hundred dollars and I, I clicked it twice, so yeah. And they'll just stay in here and treat everybody as they get infected. As soon as someone gets infected, they'll just get treated. So you see these little little red X's, red, red crosses? These are paramedics treating sick people. So as people get more infected, the paramedics just go in and keep, and keep treating them. So you might as well just get this out of the way right now, right? <laughs> I love how this game, like, it'll give you this random event where everybody gets sick. And then it will be like, okay, it's eat time. <laughs> It just happens, like the random events, just like looking at my regime going, okay, when is it going to be eat time? Let's give a pandemic an hour before that. Thanks, game. That's right. There's going to be a lot of people infected, but they're all going to be treated. At least that's the hope. The thing I don't like, though, is that treated people can still infect others. So, like, even though they're treated, they're still infectious. They're still contagious. It's sort of like you have the flu and like you're getting treatment, so cool. But if you sneeze on someone, you're still gonna make them sick. You have the medicine in you, but it's like it's not like the medicine is part of your sneeze, you know? So I guess that makes sense. I just hate that though. Uh, it's so inconvenient. Alright, now it's their work time. So now we get to see if these guys missed anybody, right? Because they're all gonna go outside now. Let's get these paramedics to come. I'm going to have one come down into here and hang out in the workshop because it's work time. Uh, this guy is going to go hang out over here. Uh, this guy is going to go hang out. Uh, where else would they be going? Some of it's free time, so maybe we'll have you hang out in the common room. Uh, and then this guy. One of them is just going to hang out in the hall. Yep, we got another one. Is everybody treated? It looks like it. I don't see any red. Not seeing red is a good thing. Oh, we got another one. He's treated now. Good job, guys. Handling this like a champ. Yep, just keep your eyes open for infected people who haven't been treated yet. Uh, we can probably go... Let's go into the library with you. Because these guys are heading this way. Anyone who's not sick, like this person here, not sick yet, can become sick and then will need treatment. So, um, like, basically, I kind of want everybody's face to be green right now. Because that means they can't get infected again. Because if they're not sick yet, they can be sick. So this paramedic's going to hang out here and treat anybody who gets sick in this room. Which is basically everybody now, because that's the way this random event works. Uh, this paramedic, let's have you go. Anyone in protective custody sick? Doesn't appear so. Let's have you go hang out in this room. This paramedic can hang out right here. Uh, maybe the school? 
You're not sick yet. Let's have you hang out in here. Actually, wait a minute. Well, there's like it has to be hanging out in every room, right? We have to hang out in every room. This paramedic can do. I, I think we handled that well. You know, I think that's. Uh, I think we did okay with that. I'll have you hang out in here anyway. So 79 prisoners got sick. Some of them apparently are immune to this, which is nice. Where is my metal flooring? Here we go. Down to here. Ooh, probably should go this way with it. But if I'm doing that, then I need to get rid of these two. It would look better if I did that, though, wouldn't it? It would probably look better if I did that. Let's do that. Let's take let's take and dismantle these two arcade cabinets. And then we'll extend this metal flooring down to meet up with this one. That's a good idea. Now we're going to mark this as a shop. And now people can work there if they want to. So let's put in logistics and get people to work in that shop. There's a shop right here. We have two jobs, but nobody's eligible, I guess. I don't know. Library. Probably just put one in there. Garden. Put like one more in there, I guess. Workshop's good. Cleaning closet's good. We need another cleaning closet. That's something else I probably should do. It's another cleaning closet. Okay, only 59 sick now, so people are getting cured. They're no longer being sick. This person never got sick. Either that or they're cured. Which is possible, I guess. This person is treated. See the status effect, how it says sick, and there's like one plus on it? That means she's sick, but like she's almost cured. So when that status effect goes away, then she'll no longer have a green face. But like some of them probably have like a much... Like that's one, one... Like this person right here, right? So her status effect has like four of these little plus signs. So after she's treated, she'll slowly start to lose that sickness. And then once it goes away completely, then she'll turn back to normal. And then at that point, she'll no longer be counted in this counter. So this has 43 now. But I, I just saw this go up to 44, which means somebody just got infected that wasn't infected before, which we need to, we need to address. So I'm just going to leave these paramedics here. I'm just going to leave them around lingering. And, uh, you know, they don't have any staff needs or anything. So, I'm going to leave them lingering in these rooms. And they are just going to cure whoever walks past them, basically. We'll just have you linger here, I guess. Uh, we'll have this paramedic here. You can just linger out here. And if, like, if you see anyone who's sick, you can go and treat them. Yeah, that's, that's going to work just fine. This needs to be hooked up to the doors. There we go. And like that. And then the pads also need to be hooked to the door. There we go. Nice. I think I'm going to extend this. This needs to go one more wide, I think. Flagstone. We can go one more wide with this. I think it would look better. And then maybe we go and do the same thing here. Because this is already too wide, but... Ah, oh, man. Eh. It's this, it's this part here. Like, it just doesn't... It looks like it's too narrow, right? Because, like, this is nice. It was too, but then this is starting to, in, like, encroach. I'm wondering if these, if the gardeners maybe manage the lawn. Maybe that's how that works. If the gardeners manage the lawn, does it get better? Because I already have this too wide. Yeah, okay, it's starting to come back. So the gardeners just have to manage the grass. Okay, that makes sense. I'm still going to make this one wider because it's the central like area here. So Then we've got that. Oh, man. I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. It's been fun. We're making progress. We're not quite losing a whole lot of money. We're managing sick people well. We have 15 more infected, 13 more infected now. Still, the paramedics are not really like necessary anymore, I don't think. I mean, they are probably getting on it pretty quickly. He's sick. But, like, I think we're fine right now. Only 13 people left. As soon as there's zero, that's when it's over. If there's even one left, it's not over yet. Like, that's that's the way this random event works. You want zero, not one. You're like, eh, that one person will get themselves sorted out. No, no, they won't. They will infect everyone else. Don't, don't assume that they will just get better. They will not. They will infect others. You cannot avoid it. <laughs> it will happen. 
Uh, is this going to be put in? Yeah, we need to get the marble put in here, though. That. Uh, was I going to put doors here or just leave it? I kind of want them to be separated blocks. Yeah, I want them to be separated blocks, I think. So let's do that. And we'll put... Um, I think we'll go like this. I'll let them open this when they want to. So we'll put these on the servos. Like this and like this. But then we'll just use the pressure pads on both sides. And just let them open these whenever they want. Because like this doesn't need to be that secure. It's just a place for prisoners to go. And if they want to come in here, I don't want them to have to like mess with the door controllers to get in here. Like so I'll make it this I'll make it like this only just to separate them as different blocks, but I'm not gonna like worry about it otherwise. So. so this is nice. I think this is looking pretty nice. I'm not really digging the phone being like right next to this arcade cabinet. So I think I'm gonna dump that phone. Yeah, I'll leave this phone here. Or maybe we can just dump this bench and put a row of phones here instead. Maybe that's the solution. I don't know. Let's try this. I got a different I got a different solution for this area actually. Because of the space available. So let's see what they do. I'm going to end the episode, guys. No, I'm not. <laughs> Classic. Classic Charlie behavior, right? Right Discord. You guys know what I'm talking about. Let's put a couch here and here and just have this be like a lounge area. Right? People can hang out and talk to each other. I think it's better. Than what we had before. Just a couple of couches would be fine. So this is now going to get hooked up to this. And this gets hooked up to this. Just like that. So that will open the door. That will open the door. And as soon as this one gets put in, then that one will open the door too. And then we'll end the episode. My mouse is acting up again. Maybe it wasn't a battery problem. Mouse is totally acting up again. Weird. I haven't had this problem before. Alright. So that should do it, right? Well, unless they don't put in the walls. Are they gonna, not going to put in the walls? Ooh, we could just do glass walls here. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, I have a better idea. What about, like... Hmm. I think there's a glass door. I think there's a glass door. Um, I can't, like, my mouse is really not going to let me do it, though. It's, it's like, not moving where I want it to at all. I could do a glass wall, but I think there's a glass door. At least I thought there was. Oh, man, I was certain that there was. Large gate, fence gate, glass door right here. Jail keys required. But it's only one it's only one side, so I'd have to like have it open both ways, which maybe is cool. You know what? I wanna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's dismantle that door. Dismantle this door. We're gonna put in a glass wall here and here. And here and here. Then we're gonna put in the glass door here flip it around uh-huh yeah like that there we go put this one in come on oh i can't until that door's come on guys get on this come on mouse you can do it just a little bit longer i believe in you there flip it around and there now we'll have to have two door servos but like whatever they're not being managed by I think it's here, right? Yeah. And then here. They're not being managed by the door controller, so I don't really care. Oh, that looks so cool. Glass. Yes, I like the glass doors. We should do that here, too. We should have the whole thing be glass doors. I like it. Let's do it. Dismantle this. Come on. There we go. And then... Oh, my gosh. Come on, mouse. Oh, it's not going to let me go down. Come on, mouse. There we go. Uh, is it this way? I think so. Yeah, I can see it. Come on, get over there. 
Why won't you go? Mouse, what are you doing? There we go. Flip it over. I can't tell if that's the right direction or not. I think it is. I'm not completely certain, but I think it is. And then there. Uh, then this pressure pad, we can clear connections. We'll have that hooked up to the other one. This pressure pad will clear connections. And this pressure pad, we can clear connections. Look at these idiots. I can't get through because it won't open this door. That's kind of silly. Connect to here. Connect to here. Okay, and then this one, can we can clear... Let's clear connections on this one. And this one. And then we can go... Uh, the AI is really dumb, aren't they? They're like, I want to go through this door. Even though this door is open, they won't go through it. Whatever, I think it's kind of nice. I think it looks pretty cool, personally. Uh, let's connect this to here. And then that should be good, right? Yes! Wait, this guy's getting hung up. Why? That's odd. Is this going to be a problem? The glass doors? I don't know. I like it. I think it's cool with the glass doors. And now I'm going to leave this episode right there. So thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. We have... Oh my god, I have intake on. Come on. I am going to leave it here, I swear. Just as long as there's no gang leader. Gangs. Gangs. No leader, no leader, no leader. No leaders. No informants. No additional legendaries. Not that I can tell. Well, if there is, I'll let you know in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want more and all that stuff. Uh, I will see you next time. It's been fun. Bye.